Welcome back to the next episode of Brickmania TV. All right, Dan. Yes. It is currently World War One month. Great War month. The great War month. Great War, because yes. it wasn't just any war. It was the Great the War. The Great War month. Yep. And you have some exciting new releases for us. We do, and it's not just me. There's, there's, you know, stay tuned for for right. Cody's stay exciting tuned. news after after this, but or maybe before, depending on when these drop. Anyway, we are in, <laughs> we are in the Great War month. Um, so this is we're in the we're in the midst of the Great War centennial. A yep. uh, hundred years ago. Uh, in, in France and across France and Europe and mm -hmm. you know the Pacific everywhere in the world was involved in what is now known as World War One um, and we've been you know every year at, at November we do a sale on Veterans Day which is actually Veterans Day falls on our Mistis Day which is actually the day that ended World War One cool. so we picked November to be our great war month there you go so but we're gonna kick it off we're just gonna basically bring back two favorites yep um, we have the Sopwith Camel, yes. um, which we did a couple of years ago. Um, was very popular. Um, it, it was the first World War II or <laughs> World War One right. model that, that I had done in, in several years, and uh, I was kind of excited to do it. Uh, on the other hand, it, it had some flaws in it. So, sure. um, so this is a slight update, correct? It's a slight update. The colors have changed um, since there's been some new parts that have come out. Um, but mostly the updates come in uh, the form of this one has two Lewis, they're not, they're not Lewis guns, they're Vickers. Um, we're replacing the Lewis guns that were on the previous version that were incorrect. Um, Will from Brick Arms was nice enough to uh, update the guns, give us some nice new uh, uh, Vickers prototypes that perfectly, he, he actually uh, stole my uh, original prototype and, and made his guns, his prototype guns on my prototype. Uh, thanks, Will. <laughs> but but you know I was uh, we were able to get these cool guns, so I guess that's 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 that was worth it. Um, and now he's gonna have to buy a new one if he wants the updated one. But uh, anyway, so new colors, new uh, new parts on it. It's a little sturdier. The struts on the on, on it are a little bit more uh, to scale with the way it should be. Cool. Uh, it's it's a slightly difficult kit to put it together. I just rebuilt it to the instructions right before uh, um, we sat down to do this. Or came over to do this episode. It's, it's a tough kit. I would yeah. actually say this is going to be a, a three or four star kit yeah. just based on the fact that it's a light, delicate model and there's, you know, big hammy fingers like mine <laughs> will have a hard time putting that kind of thing together. So. It's still swooshable though, right? Oh, it's totally swooshable. Once you get it put together, this thing's awesome. You know, the, the propeller spins and, you know, the, the jets fire. It does all the cool stuff that, that <laughs> airplanes do. <laughs> um, one thing that's on it is, uh, Lando, you made a new figure for it. Yep. Um, it's a World War One pilot, obviously, uh, allied uh, jacket. Um, yeah. So a big, heavy leather jacket. Yep. So one thing I am going to do, I like this, the look of this. It's like looks like a real beefy old, uh, you know, old time turn of the century mm -hmm. jacket. Um, I'm definitely going to use that guy for the next tank that comes. Cool. Out as a tanker for. Yeah, it's it, got this big like leather piece that goes over, and then a diagonal pocket. And yeah, kind of yeah. A cool coat. That's cool. I could definitely see tankers wearing it yeah. too. So that's coming out later this month. Um, but just a preview, you'll, you'll see this pilot first. Um, we've made 100 of these stop widths. Um, one thing that's cool, this one, I put the actual rondelles on both sides. So we're, we're doubling we the stickers of the previous one. Uh, it does have you know working uh, uh, ailerons, of course, is what you'd expect from a Brick Mania kit. Um, <laughs> we, uh, you know, I, I couldn't really think of much ways to improve this, maybe change the colors up. But for this model, it, I, I'm, I'm happy the way it turned out. Yeah. And of course, we did bring a restock. Yep, yeah, a re restock of the Fokker. It's basically the same model as it was before. We're not doing. We, we had to change the packaging up a little bit because we decided that we the original version of this was a limited edition. So we're sure. basically bringing back the same model. It's not going to be quite the same. So if you have one of the first ones, you, you're special. Yeah. Um, these are special too. They're just not quite as special. <laughs> <laughs> but you have your uh, your Red Baron uh, in there, and you have, of course, the uh, um, custom made. Uh, Brick Arms MG08 uh, Maxim guns for it, air cooled, that you're only going to be able to get in this this plane. So if you missed it the first time around, you get another chance. Uh, we've decided that we're we're celebrating the Great War Centennial November, and you know if, if these kits sell out in November, they're not going to be available right. again until maybe next year. So. Who knows? Cool. 
So yeah. So. All right. Stay well, tuned for other exciting, other adventures. exciting adventures. Adventures in the Great <laughs> War, right? Adventures in World War One. Yeah. So, do you have any? Are you excited for the, for the world? You know, I'm world, excited for world war. any World War, really. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I know you've been waiting all, all month for. You know, you couldn't wait to get get Red October done with yeah. it, so we can get on with get on with the Great War. <laughs> All right, I think that's the episode. So thank you very much for watching. And, and here's the uh, No Man's Land playset. No Man's Land? <laughs> the Nomad's Land? I it's think, modular. Uh, yeah, it's going to be cool. Here we go. It's modular. It does open up. Yes. I think, or he's no, you know, it opens up. You just got to do it straight. There we go. Word of advice, never let Lando touch your mm -hmm. block. <laughs> this thing's super cool. No Man's Land playset. Yes. Lando came from North Dakota. They didn't have Lego there. They had this is very reminiscent of North Dakota. Link, Lincoln Logs. <laughs> you mean the, the, the landscape? <laughs> the landscape, <laughs> yep. We had to uh, go through trenches um, on our way to uh, our schoolhouses. Yeah, every day. Every day. It was uphill into the wind, right? Oh, well, yeah. Well, we were in the trenches to protect us from the wind. Oh. If you expose your head, it would just be frozen off instantly, and you could like push the kids over, and they would just shatter. Oh, wow. <laughs> that ever happened to you? <laughs> no. <laughs> A chip off the top. Oh, wait, wait, Cody's here. So we got to stop back. this episode. We're going to start another one. Um, stop the episode. So maybe it'll be magic. The other one will happen first. Nice.